Mr. Math here, thanks for watching my videos. Be sure to like and subscribe and remember to click the bell icon to be notified of updates. Hello viewers, welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. We're here in Schwank Fortress. We just got a hold of the Sun and Moon Stones that we need to open the way to Hooktail Castle. So it's time to go take care of that shore. New Sister Schwank Fortress is close by. Say Mario, have you heard about recovery blocks before? If your HP and FP are low, just hit one of them, okay? Yep, we have heard of them, Goombella, but thanks for the info. Okay, so he's a little bit below the path. Ah, missed him. Missed him again. There we go. It's hard to tell where they are. Okay, um, nothing special here. Let's just keep jumping on them. Alright, I can still do a stylish with Mario's jumps, but I haven't figured out how to do that with Goombella yet. Yeah. With Mario, you do it when he's at the you know, height of his jump between the two bounces. But with Goombella, that doesn't seem to work. So I'm thinking maybe it's after she lands back down on the ground? Nope, I just tried it and it's still not working. Hmm. Maybe I should look that up. I used to know how to do it, but now I've, but I've forgotten. <laughs> just walked right off the uh, edge onto him. Hmm. So this one's kind of awkward. I have to use the hammer on the spiky Goomba, but he's in back, so I can't reach him with the hammer. about items. Got another fire flower. Hmm. Let's find out what this mystery does. Mobilize. Movement will be impossible for a while. Okay. That works pretty well. No, I'm still not getting the stylish on her jumps. Okay. Well, no biggie. So let's have her finish off the Koopa. And then Mario can hammer this guy. Okay, yeah, I can do Mario's jumps and hammer, but I still don't know how to do the stylish on Goombaria's head bonk. This is part of Schwank Fortress. We got a couple of pedestals here, that's it. Still, to archaeologists, this place is the gold mine. I gotta come back sometime. Yeah, I think I already saw her tip for this place. But some of these out here I didn't. The air here is a bit stale, don't you think? Oh yeah, and listen Mario, remember you don't have to attack every enemy you see. If you have low HP, you might just want to avoid them. That's exploring 101, you know.
Okay, let's time it so that she's when she hits the ground it's after she stops bouncing. When she touches down, she bounces like two or three times before regaining her footing. Nope. I tried it after that and that didn't work either. You know what? Let's just keep going. This is a part of Schwank Fortress. We got a couple pedestals here. That's it. It looks pretty decent, but this place is actually super old. Did you know that? I'd say it was built about a thousand years ago. Yep. What vibrant ruins. Yeah, it's always about a thousand years ago, isn't it? Everything's always about a thousand years ago. Okay, no, that didn't work. Okay, maybe as soon as she touches down. This timing is getting irritating. I just can't figure it out. Yeah. Darn it, I was trying to move closer, you know, further down towards the screen, and that bush got in my way. Ah. No biggie. I can handle this plenty easily. Yep. Darn it. Oh, I really muffed up that one. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to look it up. This path leads to Schwank Fortress. Is it just me or is this area darker? There are enemies around, so if you feel weak, remember to take it easy, okay? Well, we made it just fine. Let's see, should we just head on through or should we talk to people? You defeated the Fable Stone Monsters of Schwank? Whoa, well done! But wait, hold on now. That means I have no more job, doesn't it? Well, what do you suppose I should do now, huh? What a pickle. Close the gates and pretend that you still have a job? You don't tell anyone. RDM Registration. Direct Mail Verification. Dear Mr. Mario, Thanks for registering with Rogueport Direct Mail RDM service. Your kind friend, Mr. Frankly, referred you to us. Did he now? Hmm. Being referred for other people's spam is... Eh... Not a great thing, really. Our Direct Mail service will provide you with regular timely news updates. We hope you enjoy our service. Published by Rogueport Restoration Committee. Um, whatever, I guess it's relatively harmless. But yeah, in the original, he actually had a little Game Boy SP type thing that you know, every time he got an email, he would pull it out of his back pocket and take a look at it. Okay, maybe the mayor has something new to tell us. Well done there, Murphy. Found the sunstone and the moonstone. Have you excellent work. 
Next, you'll need to find the secret pipe that leads to Hooktail's castle. So, shake a leg, Murphy. Go show that Hooktail creature who's boss. Okay, that didn't tell us anything we didn't already know. I'm about to cough. <coughs> Reason to talk to everyone else here? Yeah, he's saying the same thing. <laughs> he's literally saying blah 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 blah. Really, is just blah. <laughs> Maybe it's just me, but it does not sound like uh, Goombella is saying blah. Hmm. Yeah, her... You know, talky noises do not sound like blah 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 blah. That disco guy's over there, his do. You know, the Koopa talky noise doesn't sound like blah 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 either. I am General White, a bob -omb, and I have lost my hopes and dreams. My heart has grown cold. I must apologize, but I ask that you leave me alone. Nothing new from him. That's General White, the bob -omb. I guess white bob are pretty rare. He has a cool mustache, too. He might even give your lip fuzz a run for its money. Well, I'll admit it's kind of sharp looking, but... Mario's is much more full. Okay. Um, excuse me. It's, it's Mario, right? Look, I, um... See, the thing is, I've been waiting here in the hopes of getting to speak with you. Um, see, I was wondering, would you... Oh, please take me with you to fight Hooktail! Please, I'm begging you! Sorry about that. See, my dad, he went off to battle Hooktail long ago, but he never came back. I miss him, of course. I miss him badly. But this isn't just about avenging my dad. Well, no, that's not true. Revenge is a part of it, I guess. A big part. But the truth is, I want to finish what dad started for his sake. For everyone's sake. I... Man, this is embarrassing. See, everybody says I'm a crybaby, a weakling. But if I can defeat Hooktail, well, I won't be those things. I'll be strong like my dad. I see, says Mario. I know it'll be dangerous, but I still want to go. Please, Mario. Sure, come along. If nothing else, we could use you for a uh, secondary target. To absorb the uh, enemy's attacks. For real? No kidding? Yes, thank you so much, you won't regret this. Koops has joined your party. Koops abilities, a primer. Press X to send Koops flying forward inside his shell. His shell can bump into things, which allows him to retrieve distant items and activate switches. Press X to send him flying. If you hold X, you can keep him in place for a while. After keeping him in place, release X to snap him back and hit something behind a starting point. Try holding him in place, then hit the switch behind Mario. Okay, just leave him there for a while and then release. Mario can also move around while keeping Koops in place so he can press the switch from a distance. 
Try using L stick to move while holding X. So remember, when you send him flying, you can hold X to keep him in one place. That concludes this primer. Do you feel you have mastered Koop's abilities? Yes, I've mastered them. In battle, he can use Shell Toss to attack with his body, or strike all ground-bound foes with Power Shot. To swap your partner in the field, press plus and go to the Party tab. Okay, Mario, let's get going. Coops. Oh, golly. Um, hi. Hi, Koopy. Koopy Koo. Did you overhear all that? Well, part of it. Coops, I thought I heard you say you're off to fight Hooktail. But you're joking, right? I mean, you're not exactly a powerhouse. She'll eat you up. I know, Koopy Koo, but I want to be tougher for you. No, Coops, you don't. I mean, going off to some dangerous place, it's... It's stupid. So what if you're timid and sort of a crybaby? I don't care about all that. I just want you to be you. So don't go. Sorry, I've made up my mind. I'll be fine. After all, I'm traveling with Mario and... Fine! Ignore me! Stop him, Koopa! Well, that's not a red flag at all. You know, if the person you love wants to go do something to, you know, try to better themselves, you should at least be a little bit supportive. And you definitely shouldn't hit them if they, you know, don't listen to you. Oh, well. Well, Mario, that's that, I guess. No turning back. Hooktail's castle awaits. Oh, yeah. Okay. Useful buttons. Hello, Mario. Still working hard? Professor Frankly here in e-form, again. I do have more to say, as it turns out. Goombella was eager to join your side, and she won't be the last. I'm sure you'll gain a bunch of additional partners as you explore the world and progress through your harrowing adventure. If you do, there's a quick way to swap which partner is walking alongside you. Just hold down L to access a doodad called the Partner Ring. Say you find yourself stuck in a rut, unable to progress, aimless and panic-stricken. First, calm down. Then swap pals with the Partner Ring, explore a bit more, and see if anything clicks into place in that noble noggin of yours. One other thing, I'm betting you usually pop into the menu by pressing minus or plus, but did you know you can open it to specific tabs by pressing the directions on the D-pad? Up for gear, left for partner, right for badges, down for journal. Convenient, right? Keep that in mind to save yourself some precious time. Stay safe and good luck out there. Okay, I suspect I'll be using up and right the most. I just gotta remember that I can do that. Okay, so I could open this menu and do that. Or I could hold down L and do this. Alright, that's good to know. Is this just take me back there? Yeah, it does. Hmm. Okay, I've already been here. Hit him with coops. Okay, so Koops can't hit a Paragoomba, so I will do that. But okay, hmm. That's kind of bad. Oh well. And then I'll have Koops attack this guy. Okay, figured out the stylish with him already. As soon as you actually hit the enemy, you push A. Let's try that again.
No, more like a split second after you hit the enemy, but... Yeah, not too difficult. Okay, somewhere back here, there was a... A big old pipe. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. That Goomba has a dried mushroom. I recognize those. Hmm. Okay, at least I managed to get the proper action command this time, but I messed up the stylish. Between the start of the episode and now, I've forgotten how to do that. It's actually kind of irritating. Okay, anyway. Happy Heart Badge has a chance of slowly restoring Mario's HP during each turn during battles. I don't actually need that yet. Might come in handy later. Okay, let's try to remember how to do a stylish. Ah! ah. Boy, it's like my muscle memory has just forgotten how to work. Ah, did it push the A button a split second too late for the stylish. For Koops is stylish. again. There we go. There we go. Yeah, after he... Wait, he only did one damage? What? Okay. Hmm. Anyway, um... So after he hits the enemy, but before he lands back down on the ground. I saw the background on the stage there wiggle slightly. For a second I thought it was going to fall down. Okay, here we are. Sunstone and Moonstone are in place. The writing. Here beginneth the path to Dread Hooktail Castle. Weaklings retreateth. Ye who seeketh to proceed, a power of two must hitteth both switches simultaneously. Addendum. This challenge is easieth peasieth if ye use the skill of a Pedalboard Koopa. Right. I thought I was going to fail that time. Fortunately, you don't have to hit it exactly at the same time. And I'm going to cough again. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, I think I've got a mild cold. Anything over here? It's always important to check. Looks like the answer is no. I suppose I would have seen something over there when I first arrived, if there were anything, so fair enough. Alright, into the castle. Wanted 
to save first, and then there's a spring here. Let's see what's out here. Hooktail Castle. Oh man, Hooktail Castle. The stories were all true. This place is terrifying. Can't get through here. All right. What does Goombella have to say? Looks like the bridge has been out for a while. Even so, this castle just seems so majestic, you know? It's so big and strange. This is the entrance to Hooktail Castle. There's a save block here. We should use it, don't you think? We already did, Goombella, but thanks for the advice. We don't need this. So if we go out the top instead of the bottom, well, look at this, a paper airplane panel. Looks like the bridge is been, oh. Darn it, X and Y are right next to each other. There we go. Okay. This is a corridor in Hooktail Castle. Can't say I'm a fan of the bone pile decor. I don't really want to have my bones end up here, Mario. How about we move on? I know what you are. Stop it. Yeah. Jerk. Oh, well, that's kind of inconvenient. Now I can't get the tattle on that guy. And they've changed the music, too. The battle music. I can't say I'm really a fan. Maybe it's just clashing with what I expected it to be. I mean, I'm not entirely sure what they're even aiming for with this music. Supposed to be like Dracula esque or something? Or just general horror movie esque? I'm not an expert on horror movies, I don't really like them. So, I can't say whether or not this really brings up their vibe, but... It doesn't really make me think of a horror movie. trying to jump over him. Okay, now let's get the paratrooper.
That's a Koopa Paratroopa. Well, um, it's basically a Koopa Troopa with wings. Max HP 4, attack 2, defense 1. I kind of hate that this guy gets to fly. Of course, you can stomp on him and he'll plunge down and be a plain Koopa Troopa. Yeah, do that and he's ours. Stomp him, stomp again to flip him and his arms and legs are useless. Oops, sorry, that's not true. It looks like he can still wiggle them around a bit. Oh man. He actually did a point even though I got the guard action command. Thinking multi bounce here. I'll finish off the guy in front. And then get his wings off. Haha! Hmm. Not very useful. I mean, my star power was already full. I would have preferred I mean, refilling HP or FP. Ah, well. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth, I suppose. Hmm. I tried pushing A right when she hit him the second time to see if that would get me a stylish, but no. Yeah, oh, fire flower. And the Power Bounce Badge. There we go. Yeah, push to the right. Oh wow, Power Bounce requires three badge points? Happy Heart requiring two? That I'm not too surprised about. But I would've thought Power Bounce would be like two badge points also. Hmm. Well, I'm keeping what I've got right now. Okay. And... I think I'm just going to have to look it up to figure out how to do Goombella's stylish move. probably drawing this out a bit longer, but by doing it this way, I make sure that they don't get any attacks off. What? Well, that was mean, dumping stuff on the audience like that. can't figure it out. Hey, okay, leveled up. Hmm. Badge points or uh, HP? I have enough FP for now. Hmm. More badge points would be useful. So you know what? Yeah. Oh, 
Okay. I haven't really made much use of multi-bounce. And close call, I haven't needed that yet, so let's take a chance. All right. So I can repeatedly bounce on one enemy as long as I keep hitting the action commands. And I might receive HP restoration each battle turn. I wonder what was up that staircase back there. Oh, it's just the way out. Oh, never mind then. I want to keep going to the right. That one off to the right there has blue feet. Oh. Oh no! These bones. They remind me of my father. There's no doubt about it. It's my father. Dad! Um. Wait. What's this? My father's clutching some kind of letter. Or at least his uh, bones are. So what should I do? Should I read it? Yeah, read it. Um, okay, I can do this. I, I'll read it. Well, I mean, it appears to be the final message from your father. He might, he might as well. <clears throat> I came to this castle to destroy Hooktail, but I am stuck and can go no further. So in this letter I shall note Hooktail's weakness for those who follow. The dread Hooktail cannot tolerate croaking creatures that begin with F and end with Rog. Really? In the original it starts with C and ends with Ricket. That's interesting. They changed from a cricket to a frog. Huh. Okay. I heard that something related to Hooktail's weakness is hidden somewhere in this castle. If one is to have any hope of defeating Hooktail, one must first find whatever that thing is. One last thing, if faced with ultimate doom, the fiend will surely use any trick to save herself. Alas, I do not have the strength to continue writing. Already, mist veils my eyes. My last words go to my son, Colorado. I love you and I'm proud of who you've become. Huh? My son Colorado, not Coops? Oops, um, yeah, I guess this isn't my father after all. But if this isn't my father, I wonder if that pile over of bones over there is my dad. Right. I know exactly where we are now. What a creepy pile of bones. I mean, they're all creepy, but this one's super creepy. I don't really feel like taking a look at it, but if we don't, we'll never get further. I guess that's a dungeon, to be honest. Ick, there are bones scattered everywhere. Hmm, mold and dust. Great. You could totally choke on the stench in this place. <laughs> okay. Larf, harf, harf, harf! You clearly don't value your lives much if you've come to this castle to disturb us. You will go no further, and from this moment on, you'll be nothing but bones! Ow! Watch it, pushy! What's with these numbskulls? They're shoving me around. What should we do? Just whack him with the hammer. Some of them keep coming back.
Okay. <laughs> Look at our audience. Can't flee this fight. Uh oh, X. Anyway. No, not head bonk, darn tap. That's a doll bone, sort of a skeleton thing. It was a Koopa Troopa, once. Max HP 1, attack 2, defense 1. These creeps throw a bone to attack. Oh, and they build reinforcements too. Attacks that can strike multiple doll bones at once are the most effective. That's a red bone. It's a little too red, I think. No fashion sense, you know? Max HP 5, attack 3, defense 1. Unlike your average doll bones, even if you pound it to 0 HP and it crumbles, it totally might revive, like a zombie. My advice is to get rid of all the doll bones, then attack the red bones. Oh, and one more thing. Once its friends start to fall, it may create some more. Ah, I guarded too early. Wow, that was kind of close. Okay, um, gear. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that'll do for now. And what is that green thing? I think it's a key. But I can't get it yet. Might as well proceed. Oh. Back. Um, hmm. Coops, come on out. Since I don't have the badge to change it yet, switching partners costs one of my turns. Either Mario's turn or the partner's turn. Whoa, that's... That was a pretty whacked out looking stylish move. Honey syrup, okay. What am I doing for FP, by the way? 10 of 15, okay. Nope, not badges, I want a gear. Well, I happen to need 5 more FP. Well, I don't need it, but I'm missing 5 FP, so... Eh. Might as well take advantage of it. Okay, a Shine Sprite. You got a Shine Sprite, a mysterious powerful object. Collecting these will help. <laughs> gotcha. Okay, the hammer can finish them off.
so can Shell Toss, so... Well, Kook's stylish moves are actually stylish. He's like a breakdancer. Okay, yeah, this puzzle. I need the red key to open this door. Okay, the yellow one can't go up because there's a block on top of it. But it's a kind of block that I can break with my hammer. Hmm. Let's get Goombella out here, actually. That's a locked door. You can open it with a key. Okay, she didn't tell me anything I didn't know there. This must be the Great Hall of Hooktail Castle. I'd say it's the center of the castle. This place is so full of traps and dangers. Alright then. Okay, let's see where the purple block takes me if I let it raise me back up. Huh. Well, look at that, a star piece. Okay, bring that back down. And now... Actually, let's not go up there yet. Okay, I was about to say, how do I push it back? But, yeah, I can just hit that same switch from over here. Got a castle key, red. A key that opens the door at Hooktail's castle. Now, let's see where that goes. We found a star piece with the purple one. What will we find with the yellow one? Another star piece. Ah. Well, that didn't work. There we go. Hmm. And the uh, ledge keeps going. Not for very far, though. Okay, well, we got the red key. We can open the door now. Here's the green lock. Hmm. Hmm. Something's supposed to come down here. Okay, 
that little balcony up there is where the uh, star piece was. What does Goombella have to say about this place? This is Hooktail Castle. You feel that upward moving draft in here? Wow, sure is a big castle. Who do you think built it? So many questions. That's a lift block. Hit the same colored lift switch to turn it on and ride it. Hmm. I want to be able to send it back down while I'm up there, though. Not too sure how to do that. No, that's not going to work. Okay. I don't know if the green switch down there is the one I need to hit to fill in the gap there or not. Let's just bring it back down and then continue on this way. Torture chamber ish. Oh, missed. Okay, this is awkward. Nothing but flying enemies, and I have coops out. About to cough again. <coughs> yeah! Full HP recover. Now, I actually needed that. try getting a stylish for Goombella while she was in the middle of jumping off the enemy back onto the floor and that didn't work either. Boy, the timing of this is really escaping me. Coops out for this, but I have Goombella. Ah, okay. All right. Fortunately, it's not all dry bones. I actually thought he was going for Mario there. I'm kind of surprised I succeeded on the uh, guard. Ah. 
So anyway, that green badge right there, that's exactly what we need. stay open long enough to get over there which means I gotta open it when I'm actually over there Let's see we've got chains on the walls and we've got an Iron Maiden and axes and something that could be a chain chomp but isn't and a uh, black treasure chest. Hmm. Oh, dang. Hey, guess. It's been a long time since anyone came here. A real long time. Huh? You heard me. Wow. Wait a sec. If you can hear my voice, then you must be some legendary hero or something. Or not. To be honest, I'm sure anyone with ears can hear me. But it sure is fun zinging people with that whole legendary hero bit. Hey, but seriously, folks, I was wondering if you could let me out of this chest. I've been locked in here so long, I'm starting to cramp up like you wouldn't believe. All you have to do is find the key and let me out. Easy. Huh? What do you mean? You think you'll be cursed if you open the box? Ridiculous. Who would do that? Really? Wait in a box and curse, folks. A real slime ball, that's who. But I'm not a real slime ball, and I would do no such thing. But that should be obvious. Look, if you help me out, maybe I'll help you out. You know, a little I scratch your back, you scratch mine, except in reverse order. Of course, you don't have to if you don't really want to. Finding a key like this is hard. Right. These are the dungeons of Hooktail Castle. I don't think they're in use, but yuck. She doesn't have anything to say about the treasure box. Okay. These are all spikes, I'm sure of it. If I step on them, they'll go shing and I'll get stabbed for one or two HP. Oh, look at this, a crack in the wall. But yeah, they'll stab me for one or two HP and then I'll get sent back to the start of the room. I'll bet that's how it works. This is a treasure chest. What could be inside it? Let's find out. You got a black key. A strange black key needed to open a strange black chest. Oh. Mario, look at that! Oh, this isn't good. Hurry, run for it! I guess I was wrong about how this works, but oh well. At least it meant that I solved the maze earlier, so it was easier to get through it now. <clears throat> okay. Time to hurt my throat. Hey there. Boy, I am so glad you found that key. Unbelievable. A strange black key needed to open a strange black chest. We fools. He covered up Goombella. Why, only the most idiotic pudding brain dolt would fall for a scheme like that. The castle's traps prevent anyone who has entered this place from ever leaving it. No matter which path you take, you're fated to waste away to a slow, painful end. But wait, there's more to this great deal. I'll throw in a free curse. No charge. Oogly googly boo. Wee. Now you're cursed, doofus. And it serves you right. This curse is more cursedly curse-worthy than any curse that's ever cursed you. For 
This curse makes you like a piece of paper when you press and hold ZR. Wee! What a curse! Who curses like me? No one! Now I shall show you just how frightful a curse it is! Press and hold ZR now! Wee! Just look at yourself! How embarrassing for you! You'll be all papery thin while you press ZR! You'll try to jump or move, and you'll probably just wobble there! Do you understand what this curse means for you? Yeah, I get it. Then farewell, you dumbbells! Wee! Okay. So, he said we can't get out of here, but... Now we can. And... You got an Attack FXG badge. Change the sound effects of Mario's attacks to sound froggy. And I just know that if I don't do that now, I will forget later when I need to. And hey, it requires zero BP, so... That doesn't sound like a frog to me. That sounds more like a creaky floor. Alright. Well, we're past the one hour mark, so I think it's time to end the video. And there happens to be a save block right here. <sighs> so we made a lot of progress. We got into uh, Castle Hooktail and got cursed again beat a bunch of enemies and basically have done extremely well even got a new ability so th which allows us to go new places we weren't able to go before so yeah very productive thanks for watching let's play paper mario the thousand year door in the next episode we continue on through hooktail castle and we'll see how far we get later